Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. Go. I think I got it, Engineer Hall. Woo! All right, that means I get the first pick in our first ever Engineer Hall Fantasy Train League. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So I think for my first pick, so I'm going to let you guys know how this is going to work. Engineer Hall and I are going to pick our train teams, all right? So we're going to have a passenger steam, a freight steam, a passenger diesel, a freight diesel, an electric, and a flex, which is whatever we want. So I think for my first pick, Engineer Hall, I'm going to go with the, pass, uh, the freight steam because I know you're thinking about freight steams. I am going to pick. You're going to pick. The big boy. Ooh, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, come the big on. Boy. I want a big boy right out of the gate there. Big boy passenger freight, or steam freight, rather. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Mm, I'm going to say... You don't have to pick a steam. You can pick a different category if you want. Mm, you know what? I'm going to go with the diesel. Okay. Freight diesel. Freight diesel. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a Dash 9. That was my pick. You stole my Dash pick. Dash 9. I'm going to go with the Dash 9. Dash 9, man. Yep, yep. Alright, does the dash not have a dash? Well, it's gonna now. Alright, so that's our first picks in our uh, show here. Hey everybody, welcome back to Yankee Devil. Of course, every day is a train show. Today we're going to be taking a look at some items that hopefully will be finding their way on your layout. And we got some uh, new kits for us to get started with here from Walters. These are the Scene Master. And if you take a look, I have here the Lumber Loads and the Pallet Racks. Now these are neat little additions that add to your layout here. Some assembly is required here. But they look really cool, especially if you have a lumber mill or you need something to uh, be carried on a pallet pack. You got these covered here. Now, both of these kits are selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $14.98. It's a great little addition to add to your layout. As I say, with a lot of times we really focus on our trains, but not so much on the scenery. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get this hauling pallets and lumber today. All right, so we're in our second round of our train draft. I got a big boy. You got a dash nine. What uh, category are you going in? You know what? Let's go with the steam. All right. What do you want? Passenger steam? Freight steam? Uh, I want the freight. Uh, let's okay. go with the uh, Y6A. Norfolk Ooh, Western. Ooh, Y6A. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. All right. Big boy has some competition there. All uh, right. I think I'm going to go with the passenger steam. And what's okay? that? I'm going to go stick with the Norfolk or Western. I'm going with the J-Class, oh. right? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's also has been known to pull freight as well. So I kind of have like a dual eligibility engine there. Okay? Oh, come on. So, yeah, there you are. All right. Yes, now we're cooking. Man, this is going to be an exciting lead. Hey, it's going to be exciting. I'm really excited to take a look at these Atlas Centerflow Covered Hoppers. Let's check out these guys here. I really am enjoying these. I have a couple of different variations here, and I really like the look of these cars here. You know, if you take a look at some of the trains that you have today on the rails, you do see these cars there. I particularly like this Southern Pacific, Union Pacific patch job that we have there. I really like the detailing in those cars there. But they're just very nicely uh, decorated very nicely detailed and as i again you see these trains operate on the rails today and so you definitely need these cars operating on your railroad now these have a lot of weight to them i'm actually surprised how much weight there are take a look at all the detailing in there with all the various numbers and the information that is scattered there take a look at the top has nice metal wheels these cars glide very nicely these are great looking cars here, and I think you definitely need them. I mean, look, we all need center flow cover hoppers, right, Engineer Hall? Always need some hoppers. Okay, cars going so there. therefore we have not one, but seven different versions. We have seven different row numbers to go with them as well. So the retail value of these cars are $48.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $34.99. So it's a great deal to get on a car. I, I am actually very impressed with how heavy this car is. So you definitely are not going to have to weigh this down. And it's got to look great pulling a whole bunch of them, maybe behind your freight train consists that you have so come to yankee dabble and get these cars rolling today because i think you're really gonna like them all right so it's round three i gotta be honest i'm really happy with my team here so I, mine's better uh, i don't know mm. especially with this pick i get the first pick here i go with a passenger diesel i'm gonna go with that f3 
Oh, oh yeah, I just went, you went F3. old school. I went you old, old school. school on that one. Gotta okay. Get that passenger diesel, get that F3 action happening there. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, I'm gonna take it to F40 pH. F40 pH for a passenger diesel? Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're going Amtrak style. I like that. I like that. All right. Amtrak style. Ooh, look at this. We got a we got a good good squad going here, man. Man, I'm loving it. And speaking of other things that I really enjoy here, we have some diesels to take a look at here from Atlas and N-Scale. Check out these S4 diesel locomotives here. And these are really cool looking early Alca diesel engines here. I really am enjoying the looks of these. I have here the Santa Fe, the Baltimore and Ohio. I have here the Southern Pacific. I have here the Grand Trunk, the Boston and Maine. Some railroad called the Pennsylvania. Ever hear of them? I heard like really small company. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the Canadian Pacific. Now these are really great looking diesel locomotives here, and they actually do have some weight to it too. I like the look of the Santa Fe. There's a lot of detailing happening in these diesel locomotives, and believe it or not, Engineer Hall, I didn't believe in what he said. It they have sound. Can you yes, believe that? That little guy got sound. That's right. And it's not just Christian going beep, beep around the whole, uh, the table there. So what we're going to do is we're going to run one of these. Engineer Hall, I'll give you your choice. Which one would you like to see run? Um... Let's go with the let's go with the CP, the bro. The CP, just yeah, because it's pretty colors. Yeah, pretty colors. All right, we're going with the pretty. No, I do you one better. What? I do you one better. Oh, okay. Let's run all of them. We're gonna run. Well, let's try one first, and then maybe we'll get crazy. Okay. Oh. So let's check out the Canadian Pacific. Let's get fired up. I love that Alco diesel sound. Let's take a listen to the bell. Cool. Horn. All right, let's pull her out. Let's ball it. Now arriving, a whole bunch of trains. Cool. 
Man, I really like those diesel locomotives. They sound awesome. They look great. In my opinion, I think you need all seven of them to pull on your layout. Now, the retail value of these engines retails for $249.95. What we're selling here, Yankee Down there for $171.99. Of course, you always throw in that engineer hall discount. That helps when you're buying seven diesel locomotives. So come to Yankee Diablo and get those engines pulling your cars today. All right, round four of our draft. This is where you can make or break your team. Engineer Hall, what category are you going with? Oh, I'm going to go with Pasture Steam. Pasture Steam. All right, what do we got? Like the Berkshire or the Blue Comet? What do you got? You, you ain't ready for this one. Okay. Ready to blow your mind? I'm, I'm blowing it. Blow it. The best friend of Charleston. <sighs> yes. Whoa. Yes. That's like you can't get no better than 1840 that. 1840. You can't get is. no better than that. Wow. That's, that's daddy right there. That's daddy. Ooh. Okay. Best friend of Charleston. That's, a, that's an old school one, man. I don't know. Nah, you got you to. You gotta... Security numbers one, if you remember that. Thing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going with electric, right? Okay. okay. I'm going to go with the greatest electric ever designed. Ooh. The GG1. GG1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the GG1. <laughs> Come on, you left it uh, hey, You know, I didn't, I left it up you there. I was thinking about it. it. I was thinking about yeah, it. But, but like, you know what? Now let me hit you with the best friend. Tell you what? It's, 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 on, it's on Team Steam. Okay? Team Steam? Team Steam. Oh, okay? no. Diesel or whatever. No, no. Nah, nah, we Diesel. We the Diesel Squad and the Team Steam. We got we, our team names. Yes. You take that petrol over here, buddy. Ah. Uh, Anyway, so what we got, Smack, smack Talk is real. All right, so what we have here in our, our two diesel locomotives from Intermountain. These are ET44 ACs, and these are the Canadian National Veterans locomotives here. And these are really great looking diesel locomotives. We've seen the Veterans locomotives here in the United States, but the Canadian National has a really neat look to these diesel locomotives. Oh, the American flag intertwined with the Canadian flag there. And if you're thinking they look very similar, well, you're correct. There is one difference, though. Is there whole is this the exhaust? It's the exhaust. That's a square so exhaust. So you can see I have a square exhaust here, where here I have the angle. The angular one here. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same diesel locomotive here, but it is a really neat looking one here. I have dish lights here. I have the um, you know the number boards light up. Everything that you could possibly want from a Intermountain diesel locomotive here. These look really cool, and I can't wait to get it going on the track. So why don't we get one of these started? Sure, sure. But you know one thing? Yes. You gotta mention these are very, very heavy. Very good. Very heavy diesel. Of so, so you a lot of cars with these engines. So these are engines that need to go on a diet, is what you're saying? No, no, no. They they nice, healthy. They they fine the way they. They're is, healthy, man. so it's it's muscle weight, is what you're saying. The heavier, the better. All right, let's go then. <laughs> All right, let's get fired up. All right, let's take a listen to the bell. The horn. Cool. Let's get her fired up. Alright, as you notice, the Ditch lights are on. Let's get going here, Engineer Hall. Gotta need some help coupling up to the cars. You wanna come back forward to the couple? Three, two, one, half, far enough. Stretch it out. Yeah, that's a good couple. Right. Ready? Ready, he's rolling. Right,
Now arriving. The veterans loco. So those are cool looking diesel locomotives and I absolutely love the way that they look and sound. Now the retail value of these locomotives is $319.95 but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $269.99. So once again it's a, a very interesting locomotive to have to get on your roster especially if you're out of the Canadian National. I think you definitely need these engines so I don't know what you're waiting for. Come get them today. Alright round five alright. We're getting towards the last two rounds here. I got a freight diesel and a flex. I'm going to go with the freight diesel. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready for what you I got. I mean, it's not flashy, but it gets the job done. I'm going with the GP40. GP40? Yeah, I put GP40 uh, on there. Oh, you I got mean, the GP40. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, again, it's not GP40. classy, but it, it gets mm -hmm. the job done. All right. Oh. All right, ready? So Rookie. you have an electric and a flex. What you're rooking, all right? All right. We're going with the bottom Ohio LE1. Where are you finding these engines? Like in the 19... Don't worry about it. We, like we, we going from the one? LE1. We got the best from Charleston. I'm old school. Yeah. I, there's like no tonnage being pulled on your rear end whatsoever. All right. Well, we both have our flexes, so... We'll see what ends up happening here. And I got to flex some mic here taking a look at these. AC 44s. Check out these diesel locomotives here. These are really cool from Scale Trends here. Hey got Frank. A, yeah, I got a bunch of different road numbers here and different uh, paint schemes here. I have the Union Pacific. I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have a locomotive that, correct me if I'm wrong, Engineer Hall, did I not see this go home with you? Yeah, you're absolutely right. One did go home with me. Oh, uh, the CSX. I have here the Southern Pacific. Okay, which one is this one? The Pharaoh, sir? Oh, that's different right there. That is a cool look. I like that look. And then, of course, I have another Canadian Pacific locomotive to take a look at here. Now, these are really great look at these locomotives here. Let's take a look at the CSX because Engineer Hall is a big fan. I got to tell you my personal favorite thing. Check out the wheels. They are painted brown. How cool is that? See that right there. Every time you get a diesel locomotive, most of or most of the time I should say, they're always just a standard color. While those are actually painted brown, makes it look a lot more realistic. I think that's really cool. I love all these different warning labels that are on this engine here. I mean, Scale Trans does a phenomenal job with the detailing of these locomotives here. Check out the front of that diesel locomotive there. This is just like a really sharp here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these diesel engines here. You know what? I'm kind of mad that I didn't put this as my freight diesel. Mm. Mm. No backseats, I guess, huh? All right. Well, I really like the look of this engine here, and we don't really run CSX that much, so why don't we try this one on the rails and see what it looks like? Bell? Horn? There we go. There's actually a little walkway light, too. Very high detail model here we have. Look at some more hoppers.
Now arriving, CSX. Cool, that engine sounds good, it looks great. I mean, I don't know what you're waiting for. I would get all of those today if I were you. Now, the retail value of these locomotives is $374.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. It's an awesome deal to get on this diesel locomotive, and I love the looks of those, especially those painted wheels. I know I mentioned it before, but I just love the realism of that. They all look great. As Engineer Hall said, they're highly detailed. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get those engines pulling your cars today. All right, so let's do a recap of all the things that we took a look at in today's show. From Enska, we had these Atlas S4 diesel locomotives here. I really enjoyed looking at those. And again, from Atlas here, I had these covered centered hoppers there. I have here from Scale Trains, I have these AC44s. And then for Intermounted, I had these ETAC44s in the... Uh, veterans paint scheme so that is really cool but of course if you were looking for something else that we didn't showcase in today's show that's all right you could go to yankeedabbler.com type in the search bar of everything that you're looking for hopefully we'll get it shipped out and sent to you as soon as possible if you're not already subscribed to engineer hall's channel make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have happening here and we have our final pick in our engineer hall fantasy train league now this is the flex position this is the position where i can pick whatever i want and since you know me i'm a steam guy i'm going with the berkshire, Ooh, <laughs> berkshire. 65 i could get 12 25 i got whatever nickel plates best what do you have engineer hall um i'm gonna go over the dash eight dash eight to go with your dash nine yeah absolutely right oh see i'm a g guy wow yeah. what Ton, ton of difference happening there. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our teams here for steam powered on Team DJ. We got the J class, we got the big boy, the F3, the GP40, the GG1, and the Berkshire. Mm -hmm. For Engineer Halls, we got the best friend, the Charleston. Classic. A, uh, yeah, you all say. A Y6A, an F40 cold. BH, mm -hmm. a Dash 9, an mm -hmm. LE1, if anyone actually remembers that one, and a Dash 8. So. If you think my team is the better one, I want you to comment on the comment section. Go Team DJ. And if you think that Engineer Hall's team is better, comment Go Team Engineer Hall. Uh, of nah, course. Nah, I, I think mine's better. Uh, All right, yeah, right, mine's okay, better. Okay, let's not be biased nah, here. Nah, we actually have better. one more entry. Christian dropped Christian. by his team earlier. What? Um, Thomas, Thomas, Polar Express, Old Puffer Pete, the Dinosaur Train, Polar the little Express. engine that could, and somehow he drafted Patrick Mahomes. How he do that? I, I don't know. That's a good pick, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could you imagine if he drove trains? He's not drove. Ooh. It's called run. Oh, all right. That'd so be unstoppable. Up, all right. So you can throw Christian's team on there. All right. So I got to get ready for uh, uh, our first fantasy uh, game. It's going to be great. So... Happy railroading, everybody, and we'll see you next time here at Yankee Dabbler.